Well, here goes another nether run. This time, let's see, I can run to the left, get in my little cave, lock the door if I have to. I'm bringing some building materials. Hey. Yowza. What a nice welcome you are. You little bouncy booger. You are made of boogers. You're like post nasal drip. Hey. What the heck? Oh, fire bats. I haven't seen those yet. Thought that was a different mod pack. Alright, it sounds like there's gas. Hey, who's dripping goo? Dripping goo everywhere. That means there's more snot monsters overhead. Alright, well, they're gonna just follow me everywhere, but they're not gonna be able to get in. Alright, well, first things first. This time I brought a whole bunch of building materials. First of all, no pigmen allowed. You can't get through that way, or that way, or this way. You guys are right outside, aren't you? Alright, well, first thing first, I need a little room to breathe in here. Oh, god damn it. It's perilous. It's perilous. It's just gonna roll on down. Boy, I love the dynamics of this. It's just gonna roll on down there, gradually fizzle out. That's some weird physics. Alright, well. Well, it's not much room, but it's mine. Oh, it's like a little bungalow I used to live in in California. Of course, in the hell dimension. Anyway, I brought some... Uh, chests. And I'm gonna leave some building materials and chests in the chest. Junk I don't need. Building materials. This is actually the I'm gonna use first. It's just good overworld stuff. Alright. So, I now have a little outpost in the nether. And there's still a creature overhead. What I'd like to do to start with is give myself a little more of a safe zone. You stupid flying, exploding, burning, whatever you are. Oh, the nether sucks. Just trying to do a nice safety drill. If I step outside, that guy's gonna get me. Come on, just come out already, will ya? Stop dripping your goo! Well, at least it's only a slime. It's not like it's one of the big bad guys. But... Come on, Slimer. Come on. Come on, just get it over with. I got more important things to do. Did he... Sp oh, get through there. Alright. Setting me on fire and exploding and oh my god. Good thing the portals are almost indestructible. Yeah, it's so unnerving. Like I say, I don't want to build too close to the actual portal. Because it will deactivate it if you do that. But able to at least give myself some cover so I can get in and out of here in one piece. Alright. Hey, how'd you get in there? I thought I had that all blocked off. Hmm? Alright, why don't you show me how you got in here? you do that? It wasn't down that way. Oh, sure, it could have been. 
I just want to get to the tree, but there's lava and stuff. Oh, you silly guy. I want you to go away. I really shouldn't come in here unless I have like a safari net or something where I can pick the guys up and drop them where I want them. He might have come in this way. No, I have that blocked off. Must have come in the side door. Now, let's see. I got four smiths for grabbing samples of trees and things. Just every time I come out here, something explodes in my face. <coughs> nether cords, nether cords. A beehive, I bet. It's reasonably peaceful right now. Not. All right, I get it. I get it. I know when I'm not wanted. You be arch. Oh, oh, that's gonna come right in there. All right. The number eight slot is going to be a bow. Can't see through the fire. Man, am I not hitting you at all? They're tough because you can only hit them in the bottom, the bottom portion. That was like most of my uh, arrows. But I got some dark wood saplings, so it's okay if the rest of the world just burns, huh? Kind of, kind of not. Yeah. Dark. It's too far away. Well, I'm just gonna build on out this way. My usual paranoid fashion. Sorry, Darkwood Tree, you seem to have gotten blown up on my account. Stop it. Stop burning. Everybody stop burning. And not surprisingly, I've been known to do these uh, little cobble tunnels out for miles and miles in the nether, because it's the only way to avoid getting s folded, spindled, mutilated, set on fire, you name it. Yeah! Alright. Usually leave myself some spots I can shoot from. Not seeing him now, but he's definitely out there. Yeah, boom. Why bother putting a torch anywhere if it's just going to be destroyed immediately? Alright, so... Oh, he's up there. That's actually... Whoop. Man, he's right on top of me. Hit him once, boy. Nope. That's some of the worst shooting I've ever done. Oh well, now I'm out of arrows anyway, so. So I got some dark wood saplings. Got blown up a few times. Wonder what's down here. Well, force gems. Alright, with me. Really looking for ores. Something other than quartz.
Whoa, quartz and lava. Okay, something other than quartz and lava. I should have been more specific. Yeah. What else is going to go wrong? F4. Sounds like a couple of those guys out there now. So here's my fortress. Such as it is, my little little tiny spot. Oh, I blocked my own stairs with a chest. Oh well. You do a quick run down here. Give me some ores. Give me some ores. Oh, I meant to chat. Damn it, lava again. Alright, I meant to check the big map last time. So I'm there, those are my tunnels. I don't see anything that looks like a fortress. So, whatever is going on, there is no fortress nearby. And I'm probably going to hit lava again right about there. I can hear a lot, though. I wonder if I'm deep enough to dig under it. Looks like it. Oh, it's lava directly above. That's a little bit too close for comfort. What was that? There's some cobalt, and I walked right over it. Didn't even see it. What, do you need a special tool to dig this up? Hmm. Diamond pickaxe? Maybe it's just a really hard material. Come on, I've seen guys in videos digging this stuff up without problem. Huh. That's kind of interesting. I didn't bring my silk touch pick. Well, you just start breaking, will you? You really can't dig cobalt with a diamond pick. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I'll have to go back and get my uh, silk touch doodad, huh? That's really weird. All right, well, so continuing this direction. I say there's lava directly overhead. Could do without getting drowned and incinerated. All the other great things that happen when you're in the nether. That just sounds dangerous. But what do you expect digging under a lava lake? Eh, I don't really see anything in that direction either. This way, something interesting down there, but watch it turn out to be another something I built. Let me see if I align with it. Watch that direction. the Ardite I was looking for. Damn it! You freaking suck! <laughs> That's so stupid. Alright. Ah! Oh, I hate lava. But there's some Ardite ore, to, you know, directly above the damn lava. So how am I going to take care of this? I'm going to have to go up a level. There's no lava right there. I came at that one a little too high. Probably keep some netherrack in my uh, number four spot. How many arrows left? Thirteen. All right. No, it's not the worst equipped I've ever been. Die out, die out. Thank you. Okay, 
Oh, that's just nether quartz. Alright. No oh, well, so I found some ardite, but... Oh, nether quartz. I'll take it, but I'm not really happy about it. Some cobalt. I wonder why I can't break that. That is very strange. Let's see, it's a Tinker's Construct thing, so maybe if I was thinking in modern logic here, I'd probably need the toughest terrestrial metal mineral to come down here and harvest cobalt, and that just happens to be Ardite. I mean, which happens to be Alamite, which I just happen to have some an example of my... Uh, Self-repairing pick is an Elamite pick. Oh! Yay. At least you're a one-hit wonder.